Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. I promise that I'll do another sit down makeup video very soon because the response to my Victoria's Secret one was actually more than I ever could have imagined. 30,000 views was my goal for that video and I think it's almost at 300,000 just now. So thank you so much to everyone that watched and liked and commented because yeah, that made me so happy that that many people seen it and liked it and I really want to do more of it but life has just gotten major busy in the past like five weeks. I've also been getting started with my Halloween looks because it's October 8th and usually I would have posted a Halloween look by now. Let me know if there's any in-depth Halloween tutorials that you want to see because I have quite a lot planned but I would like to do at least like one or two as like a long form tutorial on YouTube. But I'm starting this vlog because this week we're back to fun and exciting things and I feel like I just have to document this week. So today I have two events with Dolce & Gabbana Beauty which I'm so excited for. I am ready for the first one now and I was actually ready early for the first time in my life. I'm going to a makeup masterclass with them just now and then tonight we have a cocktail party and I actually got to borrow Dolce & Gabbana clothes to wear tonight so I'll show you that later but I'm honestly I'm so excited about that and then tomorrow I'm going on my first ever brand trip I've literally dreamed about going on a brand trip since I was like 12 so this is a very special week so yeah I'm in the best mood this week I'm feeling so excited and so grateful and really excited to vlog it all as well I am pretty stressed out though because I don't have any time to pack obviously I've not packed yet and with the two Dolce & Gabbana events today there's only a very small window that I can pack. But I feel like I've been in this situation before and everything always works out. So I'm trying not to stress out too much. My room also looks like this. So that's great. But yeah, I'm about to go and do a makeup masterclass. They told us to just put on a light base because we're gonna have to take this makeup off to redo it. So I've just got a little bit of makeup on because I don't want to walk in like barefaced. Let me take this roller out because I need to leave in a second. I've got freshly washed hair and it feels amazing. Okay, I've actually got some volume today. Love that. Okay, let me show you my outfit. I was quite stressed about what to wear because I feel like going to a Dolce & Gabbana event, like that's a lot of pressure. So I just decided to go simple. I've just got this little black top on and these new jeans from Zara, which are my new favorites. They're like low rise. And they're literally just the perfect shape. And then I've got these little Zara heels on as well and my new Balenciaga City bag. I bought this just before I went away. I wanted one for the longest time. I got it on Vestiaire Collective. I thought it was going to be a bit more vintage but it actually looks really really new. I'm obsessed with her because I really needed a bag that could actually fit things in it. All of my little bags are tiny. So yeah, this is the fit. They said in the invite that we're all going to get little black satin robes and jewellery as well. So I think it's going to be a really cute event. Oh my god, look at this location. How cool is this? It's in like a cactus park. And this is the master class in here. Thank you, what is this? It's pomegranate and bleach. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Guys, that was literally the best masterclass that I've ever been to. How like creative is that? The plates and then the waiters serving you the makeup. It was literally so cool. And I did not expect Celine Barnett to be there as well. I followed her on Instagram for so long. I didn't go and speak to her though because I was a little bit shy, but I think she's gonna be at the event tonight. So hopefully I'll speak to her then. I didn't remove my makeup, I just added to it. But I feel like this looks so good. This is a lip combo that I usually like wouldn't wear. But I mixed together two of the new lipsticks. I actually love it. It's like a perfect autumn lip combo, but a little bit more pink. So it's very me. It's 3 p.m. now and the next event is at 8 p.m. So now I just need to get ready and get fully packed for tomorrow. I can't even remember. Did I even tell you where I'm going? I'm going to LA tomorrow. And that is like major for me. I feel like I can't quite express how excited I am. Like I don't seem excited, but just know inside I am so excited. I ordered myself a little Joe and the Juice because there is absolutely nothing to eat in this house. Ordering a matcha though, when I literally have matcha powder and oat milk in the house, 
is kind of diabolical, but I don't have time. I don't have time to whisk matcha right now. I never usually order myself food for like lunch or dinner, but in my head I'm like, I'm getting a meal at the event tonight, so girl math, this is technically free. Got an iced vanilla matcha and a chunicado. Yum. I really shouldn't be drinking this because I got my teeth whitened the day before yesterday and they told me I wasn't allowed to have coloured foods or drinks for three days. So they were like no coffee, no matcha. They basically just told us to eat plain chicken and plain rice but I can't take that anymore. Why is that so good? I added cucumber to it this time and it is so, so nice. I love tuna and cucumber together. I genuinely can't think straight right now because I need to pack, but then I also need to use lots of stuff that need packed for getting ready for going out tonight. And then I'm going to come back at like 11pm, probably going to have a couple drinks and then it's just going to be a disaster. Okay guys, I think I've made a little bit of progress with the packing. I'm only going for like one full day in two half days. So, I'd, oh. This lighting actually looks really good right now. So I don't actually need that much stuff with me, but because I'm looking at an empty case, I'm like, something feels wrong. My like toiletries and stuff are already packed from last time. So it did make everything a lot easier. And I'm just gonna try and like put it back into this tonight and then pack it all later. Do you know what? We're fine, it's fine. I really need to start getting ready. So I'm gonna pin curl my hair, then do my makeup. I think I'll film my makeup for TikTok. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get ready and I'll show you my finished Dolce & Gabbana look. I didn't get a final clip of my outfit because I was running late. So I'm gonna quickly show you what I'm wearing. A little corset, cute little shorts. The bag, wearing Dolce & Gabbana. Jeez. We're here now and I couldn't fit my vlog camera in this bag so the quality of these next clips is probably going to be quite bad. Okay, so it's half 12. We were only meant to be staying until 10. <laughs> my flight is in... Three hours. No, I need to leave for my flight in three hours. So apparently I'm just staying up now. Got that goodie thing. She got a goodie bag. <laughs> Wait, what's the song? Running is a Birkin, she's hurting. She knows... Oh my God. Okay, I'm at the airport now. I'm so tired. I tried to stay up until it was time to come to the airport, but my eyes were literally closing. So I just slept for like one and a half hours, then had to wake back up again. But I'm here, I've had some food and I think my flight boards in like half an hour. I went and lost a nail roll and I'm so annoyed. Kept them a bit too long and both of these are getting a bit wobbly. So I think this one's also gonna fall off. I can't wait to just get on this flight and sleep. I thought it was a 13 hour flight and it turns out it's actually 16. But in a way it's kind of better because then I can literally just sleep and chill and do nothing. Listen to the noise that my suitcase keeps making. I genuinely don't think anything in my life is ever going to run smoothly. Four hours to get out of the airport, that is literally insane. Done my makeup in the taxi, it actually looks not that bad. But literally as we were pulling into the hotel, so was the big like BMW limousine van that's taking us all out to dinner. So everyone is downstairs and ready. I've come up, I've just chucked this dress on and I just need to flip the ends of my hair, put a lash in my bag and just put it on in the in the Uber because, oh my gosh. When will something just be smooth sailing for me? Genuinely, I don't understand. 
what it is about my life that just attracts rushing about and chaos because like that wasn't even my fault that was the airport you know i got in at half two why did i leave the airport at 6 pm this is the one time that the heatless curler decided to fail me why did i literally sit with that in for 15 hours in the plane and then it literally fell out immediately what am i even doing bruv this is apparently the fancier night out of the two as well so i'm like great i'm gonna be a minger for the fancy night my room is at Oh my god, they've just phoned and said that they're leaving right now. <sighs> Guys. Okay. What the hell was that? That was so chaotic, oh my god. Also, I have the most beautiful room with so many products like perfectly laid out and I didn't even get the chance to like appreciate it and really look at it because I had to come in and mess it up instantly to get ready. Like, look at this. I've not even been able to take any photos or videos of the room and this is what we look like already. I'm actually going to just clean the room and then give you an actual room tour. I'm scared that I like wasted this dress because I wasn't properly ready. Let me show you my outfit. It's like a play suit and a dress all in one. Look at how cute. I want to wear it again. I feel like I didn't get a proper wear out of it. Okay, I've tidied up my room so let me give you a proper room tour even though it's literally pitch black outside. This is the bathroom. There's literally so much in the bathroom. We've got cleansing balm, we've got makeup remover, we've got a cleanser, wipes, a little roller, we've got deodorant, cotton pads, gua sha, beauty blender. We've got face masks, lip masks, body moisturizer, vitamin E, all sorts of face serums, face creams. Oh, resurfacing body lotion, wow. And then a little headband with the little mitts that catch the water when you wash your face. Very helpful, very handy. We've also got products in the shower. We've got this body sugar scrub, a scalp massager, and then a dry brush. I've actually always wanted a dry brush. And then we come through into the bedroom and all along this desk is just loads of Sephora collection goodies. We've got so many lip glosses. This one looks really cute. That's like a sparkly pink. Oh my God, is that lip liners? Oh my gosh. So many lip liners, loads of pairs of lashes and I love the Sephora collection lashes. I've got a pair on right now and I've literally worn this lash style for maybe like four months straight and nothing else. A gorgeous chair with this lovely fur throw over it and loads of little lipsticks. And then on the bed, we've got the start of the show. This is the new cream lip stains. Look how many shades. <laughs> that is three drawers full of all the lip stains and then this little personalized jumper with my initials on it. So cute. And then on the bedside table, got some lip plumpers and then another bag of goodies. You have a little personalized bracelet with my name on it. And the thing that I am noticing in here is the chocolate. And a little pair of sunglasses. Okay, and let's finally unwind from the most crazy 24 hours. How long has it even been? I don't even know. Let's get a little cleansing set on. Get my hair out of my face. My little arm cuffs on. I've actually never tried these before. Guys, I'm so excited to get into bed. I'm so excited. I've not told you about my flight. Let's talk about, let's talk about today. Let's talk about the journey. I actually barely slept on the flight today. I've got like these little like over the counter boot sleeping tablets and I took one. The past few times I've took them, I've been out like a light and I've stayed sleeping for like seven or eight hours. But I'd say I got like four hours this time and then I went back to sleep for like half an hour and then they woke me up for food. Someone is sleeping very soundly, like maybe don't wake them. I did wake up and I was hungry though, so I was glad that I got to eat. But yeah, I did not have much quality sleep. I've literally had like five hours sleep in the last two days. By the way, this is the melting cleansing balm. Looks like a gel. It's actually a really nice balm consistency. Before I went to sleep, I went to the back of the plane just to like go to the toilet and get a little snack and stuff and just like get ready for bed. Everyone in like the cabin had their windows shut so it was completely dark. 
but at the little bar lounge area all the windows were open and we were flying over the North Pole. I would have never thought the plane would go to the North Pole to get to LA but we lost like Wi-Fi for a couple hours and I was thinking like why is the Wi-Fi down? But it was because we were literally on the top of the world like what the hell? If you look at it on the map we literally went from here to Dubai, we went up to the top of the earth and then back down again, but we could have went straight across. Okay, so I would really love to know why you can't just go from here to here and why we had to go over the North Pole. But it was beautiful, it was like sunrise. So I've got a video on my phone and it's like all like the broken ice on water and then like the sunrise, right? Makeup is off. Now I'm actually gonna go in and cleanse. This is the clean skin gel. Okay, so this is a hydrating cleanser. That is what I like to hear. I walked into this trip blind. Like I didn't even ask for a list of people who were coming. I just turned up today and was like, well, whoever's gonna be here is gonna be here. But luckily we have some friends and it's like a global thing. So we've got like people from the UK, then there's a girl from Dubai that's also came. Then we've got French influencers, people from America as well. And it's really fun to see like people that you followed, but you wouldn't really get the chance to meet and actually like seeing them in real life. So that was fun. Right, what serums do we do? Preferably one that's gonna get rid of this. We're starting with hydration first. Hyaluronic acid. And you're meant to put this on damp skin, so I'm just patting a little bit of water back onto my skin. Okay, and then do we do the peeling and then the soothing? I think that sounds like a good order. One pump. Okay, two. We'll finish with the vitamin C and then a moisturizer. Do I even look tired? Guys, I actually feel like I'm invincible against like jet lag. Like how am I standing? How am I fine? And I know I'll be fine tomorrow. Probably shouldn't say that. Touch wood. That's not even wood. It didn't get me in New York and I don't believe it's gonna get me now. Ooh, that feels really nice. It's almost like an oil, like an oil serum. And then I want to use this moisturiser. This is the Hydrating Sika Cream Express Repair Care. Also, that's a very cute little tube. She's thick. Why <laughs> so much moisturiser? <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, good morning guys. I'm up nice and early this morning because we need to be ready and downstairs for 9am. I was expecting major sunshine. I think it's going to come, but... It is so cloudy this morning. And I opened up the window and it's literally freezing. On the itinerary it says we're to do no makeup makeup looks today. Because we're going to a masterclass, so I think we're actually going to be able to like do our makeup when we get there. And apparently the masterclass today is featuring a special guest. So I'm really excited to see who that is. Also guys, I'm extending my trip. Because I feel like to come all this way and then leave tomorrow, like that is really a flying visit, especially for a 16 hour flight, you know? I'm moving my flight until Saturday, so then I can have like another full day and then a little morning to myself, because I'm like, I just need to like go shopping. I need to have the LA experience, because obviously we'll be out and about and doing stuff today. But yeah, I just want to make sure that I get to see everything while I'm here. Yay guys, the sun's coming out. How cute is my view? A little bit of lip gloss. I'm just leaving my eyes bare because I feel like I'll probably want to do a little eye makeup when I'm there and stick some lashes on and I'll show you what I'm wearing. I'm back with the jeans and flip flops guys. I feel like it just looks more chic than trainers. This angle is not really given right now but I put my gazelles on and I don't know. It just wasn't the vibe. This cute little corset top from Urban Outfitters and then just my blue Topshop jeans. But yeah, this is the fit for today. Wow. Oh. Whoa. Hello. Me. Wait, this is super cute. Oh my god. Oh, we've got a little breakfast bar over here as well. Stunning. I'm starving. Right, I'm going straight to the food because I am so hungry. Okay, we've just came upstairs and they've set up like a whole beauty supermarket. We've got our little shopping list here of all the products that we need to pick up to have for the masterclass. And they've set it up like an actual supermarket. How cute is this? 
Okay, first we need to get lips. This one with the pink sparkles is right up my street. Oh my god, I'm in the newspaper! Right, let's get shade matched. Uh -huh. I almost can't see them, they're like... Exactly. Yeah, those two look good for me, I yeah, think. So we'll give you both. Stunning. We're done. My bag is full, I've ticked off my lips. So now we just go downstairs for the masterclass. I'm so excited to find out who it is that's doing it. There's rumors that it's makeup by Spencer. And I really hope it is because I'm obsessed with him. We have a very special guest for you, somebody that we love very much uh, at Sephora and at Sephora Collection. So please uh, join me in welcoming Spencer, known as Painted by Spencer. room y'all that was such a fun day i got this smoothie like an hour ago and i'm still drinking it these are not smoothies these are like borderline milkshakes they're so heavy my one was really nice though guys look at the amazing job that the cleaner did like she properly has like up organized my room everything's laid out she's got my case up here my other case out the way, they were literally all in the middle of the floor. And then Mark. Samantha, I hope you enjoy every minute of your stay with us. It was a pleasure to clean your room. Have a great day. <laughs> I'm actually gonna cry. So yeah, back at the hotel to get ready. We were meant to come home earlier, but we're a little bit late. So now we've only got two hours. We need to be downstairs by half seven. And I wanna film like a proper get ready with me for TikTok. So I would love so much to lie on my bed for a little bit, but I just need to get straight into it. And then we're having a nice like sit down dinner tonight. So I'm gonna go film for TikTok and then I'll come back and show you my outfit. I've got a really cute outfit to wear tonight and I'm really excited to wear it. Oh my God, guys, we've just got to dinner in this gorgeous restaurant. Oh my god, just like that, 
everyone's off home. So now we're on our own and we've got today and tomorrow morning to explore. I've gotten ready and I'm just about to leave. I think I'm just gonna start by like walking around this area. We're in West Hollywood and I think Melrose is near and apparently that's got some nice like vintage shops and stuff. But I feel like I've got a lot on my checklist that I want to do and I also have a lot of things I want to eat before I leave. So like I wanna eat in and out I wanna get the Calic garlic cream cheese stuffed bagel. Don't know when I'm gonna fit that in. I've already eaten steak today. Our brunch this morning was literally like breakfast and then immediately they just served like steak and then they served dessert. So I feel like I've actually already done like a full day's eating today. Plan is take a walk around. I wanna go shopping. I wanna go to Aritzia because I didn't get to go to New York and everyone's telling me to go down to Venice Beach and Santa Monica Pier. So I think I'll try and fit that in as well. So I'm just packing my little bag. I've got my AirPods, I've got my portable charger and I'm gonna head out into the wild by myself. You know what though, I actually love it. Like I love being somewhere new on my own. I was sitting upstairs at the rooftop earlier and I just felt so happy. Like I just love seeing new places and I'm really glad that I'm like comfortable with doing it by myself. Obviously I've been with people on this trip. I'm just so excited to have a little day to myself to go and explore. Guys, this is kind of crazy. I've just took a walk and I walked down to Melrose, but like every cafe that you go past is just full with like the most beautiful people. And I'm like, I'm actually intimidated around here. Like everyone is so hot. Apparently Melrose is actually really long. So I could be walking for ages and I literally started right at the beginning of it as well. I've seen some lime scooters, but I'm like, I would die of embarrassment if I was riding a lime scooter about on my own. No offense if you do that, but oh my God, I'm just too awkward to do that by myself in public. But I think I'm gonna see the pink wall. It's so funny, like I really don't wanna seem like a tourist. I don't want anyone to see me like videoing, catching the pink wall and be like, oh, she's new here. But I'm literally like shook. Let's go have a look in there. I actually need to live here. Like this is my vibe completely. I just seen like two really cool people with their ice lattes like getting in a Tesla and I'm like shut up. I need that to be me. I need that to be my life. Oh my god, I can see it. 14 year old me is literally screaming right now. I've been walking for so long, so long. I started at the bougie end of Melrose and now I'm at like the funky the funky end with all the vintage shops and I thought it'd be like good vintage but I'm not gonna lie it kind of just looks like costumes <laughs> hanging outside most of the places apparently this one's good wasteland someone told me to come here but I honestly don't know if I've got the energy to look through like racks and racks of clothes right now because I'm really hot and I'm starting to get quite hungry so I think I need to stop for food somewhere but this area is really really cool all the shops are so funky. So apparently the Grove is like a 20 minute walk away. I don't really know if I have it in me to walk this much, but I'm just gonna do it, why not? Oh my God, I seriously thought that I was about to faint there, but I'm at the Grove and I've got a little acai bowl. ever okay there's an air one really close by so i'm on my way to air one i'm going to pick up some sea moss gel and some lemmy gummies and then i'm going to go back to the hotel and hopefully recharge my batteries enough to be able to go down to the pier Smoothie. 
It's really nice. They're so sweet though, which I didn't expect. Like it tastes like a dessert. Okay guys, I'm kind of sad. I've just came back to my hotel to drop my bags and then my plan was to go down to the Santa Monica Pier, like Venice Beach area. And then I told my taxi driver that that was my plans. And he was like, oh, by the way, just like don't go anywhere quiet on your own. He was saying that that area is like not what it used to be. And there's quite a lot of like dodgy people down there. So that kind of scared me. And he was like, especially if it's dark, just don't be there on your own. And I was planning on going for sunset and the sunset's in like 10 minutes. So I think I'm going to have to not go to Venice Beach, but I'm really sad. So I think I'm just going to go up to the rooftop in the hotel and watch the sunset instead. Okay, let's just go to the rooftop and then I want an in and out for dinner. Looks like we're getting a taxi to in and out because they don't deliver. So I'm gonna have to drive 15 minutes there, eat my burger inside and then drive 15 minutes back. I'm just gonna do it because this is my last chance to get one while I'm here because I don't really want to have like a burger and chips at lunchtime tomorrow. I want it for my dinner tonight. So let's go on an adventure to in and out Oh my god guys, in and out is so fucking busy. I don't know why I didn't expect this. Look how many people are in there. Can I please get a double double and fries, both animal style? Can I get a Dr Pepper please? Oh my god, I think my chips are cold already. Ugh, those chips are awful. Mm. Double double animal style. Trying hyped foods is always so anticlimactic. Like it's good, but the chips are diabolical. They're awful. Well, that was a big fat letdown. Why does nothing ever live up to the hype? It's actually so annoying. I was so excited for In-N-Out. I was so excited for Crumble Cookie. They're not good. They're honestly not good. Okay guys, sadly, it's the last morning with this beautiful view, but we're squeezing in a little hike to the Hollywood sign. To be honest, I don't really know if it's a hike because you can get a taxi to take you quite close to it. So I think it'll be like 20 minutes up and then 20 minutes down, which is good for me because I need to check out in two hours. So I need to get it done fast. I obviously still need to pack as well. Okay, I really hope I've got dropped off at the right place. This little bit here says last chance for water. So I guess I'm on the right way. I'm trying to like remember the directions from TikTok because there's like a couple ways that you can go. I actually think I might be here already. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck? I'm here already. That was genuinely like a three minute walk up. Oh my God, look how cool. God, the view on this side is amazing. Okay, it's 11 now and my checkout's at 12. So I really need to head back and I'm gonna order my bagel when I'm in the taxi so that it's waiting on me when I get to my hotel. But that was so fun. The houses up here are absolutely gorgeous. Also, I was standing there taking photos for a wee while and this old lady with like a bedazzled little cap on, a pink top and like, she had like bedazzled everything. She came up to me and she got someone to take a photo of us both. I was like, I've got no idea why she wants a picture with me, but she was so cute and she was such a slayer. I'm packed up, got my little Sephora jumper on. It's so comfy. I feel like this actually would be really nice to fly in. And now I just need to wait downstairs for my bagel. Okay guys, I've got the goods. Garlic and cream cheese stuffed bagel. Oh my god, it's like sweet, chewy, garlicky. Oh my god. Oh my god. The cream cheese is like whipped. Yum. I need to actually chew it because I'm getting the hiccups because I'm just eating it so fast. But this is like a strong 12 out of 10. This is so good. I can't believe that it's a trip over. I want to come back here so soon. 
Okay, now I'm gonna order my Uber to go to the airport and I'll check back in with you when I'm back home. <laughs> I'm so sad.